let us know on Facebook Live. All right. We're going to get inside your heads right now because um, uh, this uh, last year of the pandemic has, has done a lot of us in mentally. Uh, and I'm saying that uh, a little bit uh, cheekily, but but seriously, there have been a lot of folks that have that have had uh, issues with isolation and loneliness and increased anxiety and stress levels. Well, the uh, Mind Science Center over at the National University Health System did a survey uh, conduct, conducted last year, and, and they found that 61 percent of those of us working from home reported feeling stressed. Uh, and the conclusion uh, from that same survey of nearly 2,000 people was that Singaporeans younger than 45 are more likely to report feeling anxious than their older counterparts age 45 and above. So that's interesting. Let's talk about that now with Rita Yeo and Lydia Tay, founding director of Stradivari Strings. Welcome to the show, Lydia and Rita. Good morning. Good morning, Glenn and uh, Neil. Thanks for having us. Well, great to have you with us today and and talk to us. Uh, music is such a great way to get rid of stress. And uh, tell us what the violin does for us from that perspective. Well, um, it's not only the violin, it could be any musical instrument, you know. But uh, since you asked about the violin, uh, basically, um, uh, it actually, you need to actually um, map your mind around the instrument uh, hmm. and learn how to um, use your left and right hand to actually create beautiful tone quality on the instrument. So it's basically emotion that is uh, in the, in the, that you actually put in the emotion, emotion to emote music with the instrument. Wow. And Lydia, I believe you're a student, you know, you're a student of the violin. How do you feel that playing the violin, learning the violin helps you you know, cope with the day-to-day -day stresses of life, particularly in the last year or so? How does it help you? Actually, I'm a student of the viola. Um, mm. And viola. in many, many instances, um, stress and anxiety actually stems from not being able to do something about an issue or a worry about the future, which is what we see a lot during the pandemic. So practicing an instrument requires a lot of focus and this hence diverts your attention away from the stresses of life. And because mm. music is a universal form of communication, playing an instrument helps people to express their emotions in a healthy way. Yeah, well, that's the key mm. point, isn't it, uh, Rita? That it's that diversion, a healthy, creative diversion away from the day-to-day -day stresses. And of course, with the violin or the viola, a string instrument, you need that focus, don't you? So you have to divert away because otherwise you won't get better at playing the instrument. Exactly. So it actually takes uh, your mind off, um, you know, all the uh, stress or tension that you have, that you encounter in your daily life. You know, it could be uh, from work, from a family. You could be a parent trying to handle, you know, three kids, their schedule, you know, trying to make sure that they eat well or you have uh, elderly parents whom you need to take care of. So it's, it's, it's like uh, practicing yoga, you know. Uh, I practice yoga. So my yoga teacher always say, be present when you practice your yoga. Mm. So I tell my mm. students, be present when you do your practice for the violin. It's we just say you and the music yeah. instrument. We say that here to each other. Be present, Glenn. Be, be present. present, yes. In the yes. studio. It no, often does no, not work. No, yeah, don't multitask with your phone, you know. <laughs> Just leave the outside world out. <laughs> Uh, we're talking with Rita Yeo, the founding director of Stradivari Strings, and Lydia Tay, a student there. And uh, at Stradivari Strings, they give music lessons for violin, viola, cello, piano, keyboard, sax, flute, guitar, ukulele. And, and Rita, maybe you can tell me, over this past year, have you seen a, a, any kind of a change in the numbers of people that are wanting to take up an instrument or are people that are already playing an instrument? Are they doing it more seriously with more time or more time at home? Yes. Uh, I've noticed uh, since uh, the uh, COVID-19 situation uh, got serious last April, uh, we had about uh, seven weeks of, um, I call it lockdown, because we literally can't do anything yeah. except for staying at home and doing what you need online. Uh, we basically, I, I basically saw a vast increase in a lot of adults as well as uh, teenagers and children who want to pick up and learn a music instrument. Uh, it's uh, maybe I see about 30% increase year on year. 
uh, post the lockdown. So uh, the lockdown was like um, April last year for about seven weeks till about June the 1st. And uh, from July onwards, uh, many, many inquiries from new students who want to start lessons, learn a, mu learn a new music instrument. Um, in terms of seriousness, how serious, it's all very subjective, you know. Uh, mm. You know, it's more important to actually uh, exercise your mind, um, de-stress, and you know, whether you want to take exams and see your breathing, that's not so important at the moment. Lydia, yeah. uh, Lydia as a student yourself, what does playing the instrument do for you? Um, like I said before, it did give me a diversion to my daily stress as I do suffer from anxiety. Um, and I feel like making these small achievements and progresses on the instrument, it really gives me a sense of hope. Hmm. That's fabulous. A sense of hope. That's wonderful. It's funny as one of our uh, listeners is saying, violin, de-stressful, the screeching noise. But I would assume that you're teaching people to play the violin, Rita, in a way that uh, is more <laughs> soothing and more calm. And I understand that you may, in fact, have a little something that you can play for us today. Uh, that would be uh, Lydia, yes, who has oh, Lydia, something for us. Yes. <laughs> okay, well, maybe while Lydia gets it ready, Rita, you could set it up for us. What is she going to play? Oh, wow. Well, uh, I'll just uh, let Lydia uh, tell us what she's going to play. But just to uh, reply on uh, Glenn's comment regarding the screechiness of the instrument. <laughs> <laughs> if I were to play it or if Neil were to play it, that's probably what it would be, not Lydia. But yeah, go ahead. No. Uh, basically, it is the tone quality of the uh, instrument. Uh, so basically, it's handcrafted or it is factory made. That, that makes a lot of difference whether it's squishy or not. Secondly, mm. it is um, you know, understanding your hand movement around the instrument, you know, left and right hand to create good tone. So this comes with you. There's about 10 or 20 things you need to be aware of to be able to play very nice tone on the violin. So, and that comment, by the way, was not from me. It was from Stanley C. So St on Facebook Live. Oh, so Stanley, Stanley I'm, ah, I'm putting okay. that one on you. I'm oh, sorry, before, Stanley. <laughs> and in the interest of balance, just before you play for us, mm. uh, we have a comment from uh, Rosita Abu Sama who says, the cello is a stress reliever for me. Got my cello from Rita, called her Magdalena after Bach's composer wife. Mm. You named your cello after Bach's wife. Well, Such a beautiful <laughs> instrument the cello is amazing yeah, yeah. of course yeah. yo yo ma and others notable cellists are really really great yeah. okay lydia what are you gonna uh, what are you gonna play for us right now so i'm gonna play for you the second waltz from the shostakovich suite of variety orchestra and i think it's a very lovely piece because it does highlight the warm tones of the viola okay la, over okay. to you go for it this is uh, Lydia Tay. <laughs> Go. All yeah. right, Lydia, thank hey, you so much. Hey, beautiful. So much. And I like the beautiful accompaniment, accompaniment with birds singing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> we had uh, Rosita <laughs> saying Shostakovich, love it. Nice vibrato and lots of great comments. Uh, 
Um, Stanley C says they just cannot get the string instrument right. He needs to stay to his vocal instrument in the shower. That's more therapeutic for him. I get that. Yeah, yes, I good. agree. Yes. <laughs> Roy Tam also loving the uh, Shostakovich. Hey, thank you both so much for being on today. Uh, it's been really fun to, to talk to you about how we can de-stress with music. Rita Yo from Stradivari Strings and Lydia Tay, who is a student of the viola. Uh, thanks for being with us on, on Money FM today. Thank you, for thank you for having us. Have a great day. Wonderful stuff. Yeah, that's that's great. Uh